guys, good day and welcome to another episode of Happenings with Delicious Lola. My name is Omolola Ibitui, aka that swagalicious babe all the way from Kogi State, Nigeria. Mm. Nigeria today, it's, it's just cold, you know, a lot has really been happening, you know, this past few days. Our president who went on a 10-day vacation is still not back. Two-phase um, protest was, he cancelled it. It's just so pathetic. And um, the former governor of Delta State, James Iberi, who arrived in Nigeria, was highly welcomed. I, I still don't understand. After he has defrauded his own people, his state so much, and they are still welcoming him, shouting here and there, hey, 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 hey. Nigeria, I must say this, we really need God's intervention. A lot, a lot is going on. A lot is happening. People don't, don't, no longer eat three square meals a day. People are finding it difficult. People are, People are dying. The condition is becoming something else. Kerosene is expensive, gas is expensive, everything is expensive. People can't even hardly feed three times in a day. Just pray and hope that Nigeria will be great. Yes, on today's episode, talking about a lady called Bisola. Her story through my, my mail and I'll be telling you guys her story and what you guys think is best for Bisola in her condition right now. Before I proceed on Bisola's theory, first of all, just watch this very brief short sweet skit by moi. Sorry, where did I even park safe? Where did I park? Oh my God. Ladies, let us learn how to behave. Don't, don't just slap guys anyhow. Like it's it's really not good. Okay, I I told you guys today we'll be talking about the story of Bisola. She says, "Hello, delicious Lola. My name is Bisola, and I am 33 years old. I've been dating this guy for two years now." Okay, I I read the story before, so like. If I say how I want to read all of this, the story is just so much. But I'll just summarize the whole thing for you guys. Bisala is a 33-year-old lady. She is a tailor and then she was dating this guy who is a medical doctor. She took in for the guy that's a medical doctor whom she has been dating for more than two years. And then she told this guy, Boo, I'm pregnant. And Boo who once said that, you've never been pregnant before and we've been having, we've not been practicing safe sex. And Boo was like, shit, you're pregnant. Like seriously? <laughs> okay. And then he was like, I'm not ready to have a child now. I'm not, I'm so not ready to have a child now. Okay, you know what? We're going to be contributing you're going to have a dnc we're going to be contributing you contribute i'll contribute then we'll prepare for the wedding and besides you know i told you i have a child that i have to cater for and she was like yes you said it okay in bisola's meal she said she said the guy had a child the guy told her he had a child but the child was with his sister in abuja so she was like, no, 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 I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. I've waited for this long, like I am 33. And if I have a child at this age, there's nothing wrong with it. There's practically nothing wrong with it. So I want to have this child, fine. We could just do something small and all of that. But the guy was like, no, 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 no. I want you to remove this child. I don't want the child. I am not ready to father a child for now. One way or the other, Bisola got in touch with the guy's mom. And the guy's mom was like, he's very irresponsible, he's married, he has two kids, he doesn't take care of them, and oh my gosh. And this came like a shock. It came like a shock to Bisola because this idiot, okay, and I'm not supposed to say this, but like that was what she 
that was what she wrote in the mail that the guy was that the guy never ever told her he was married he said he was never ever married that he only had this child out of wedlock and so Bisola now is so confused his line has not been going so Bisola now is asking should I do the DNC or should I leave the child? My people, you guys' advice is highly needed. Bisola is really waiting to hear from you guys. Oh, kindly scroll down this video. Kindly scroll down. You see the comment section. Comment whatever you want to comment there. And again, the first person to comment on this video, my humble self, Delicia Zola, will be giving the person a recharge card. Should Bisola go ahead with the DNC? Or should she leave the pregnancy? It's up to you guys. Thank you so much for watching Happenings with Delicious Lola. If you want your story to be heard just like the way Bisola's story has been told today, kindly send your messages to my email, which is ibitoyeomola at gmail.com. And you could also follow me on Instagram at delicious underscore Lola. I am also on Twitter at omolola ibitoye. And on Facebook, it is omolola ibitoye. Thank you so much for watching Happenings with Delicious Lola. I love you all so much. Bye bye.